All right, this is going to be a fun one. Got the G310R this time. Proper beginner bike for a beginner rider like me. So I should be able to really get on this thing more than I've been able to get on the last couple of bikes. One thing about it is it uh, doesn't have a quick shifter, so it should be interesting actually riding a bike that I have to shift this time. But less technology on this bike. That'll be fun. Love not having a bunch of extra bullshit. I'll tell you right now, man. As big as I am, 6'2", 280 sitting on this little thing, it is comfy. This feels right. I always thought I was going to be just a cruiser guy because of my size, but man, some of these smaller bikes will surprise you. Yeah, I love not having all that extra shit on my bike, man. I'm chilling with this one. Clutch is extra light, yeah, proper beginner bike. A single shock in the rear, it feels nice and soft. Oh yeah, front end soft too. Not mad about it. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> he said I'm having too much fun. <laughs> that dude right there is 71, man. Out here looking as young as ever. I pray that I am still plenty healthy enough to ride at his age. And that is certainly the plan. Off rip, just taking off from the stop. This thing is extremely smooth, man. That I can tell this 300 is going to be plenty forgiving. <laughs> it's only got a fraction of the horsepower of the last couple bikes I rode, so yeah, this should be a real good time, man. Oh, damn. Oh, good looking out, Spectrum. That's funny, that dude in the Spectrum van moved over <laughs> so that we could uh, pull out, and the buddy that <laughs> dude was supposed to be in front of me ended up uh, still waiting. Oh, yeah, it is nice. It is nice, man. A little 300 doesn't sound too bad. And I can absolutely rip it. <laughs> oh yeah. It is real easy to write off these small bikes as not being something that you're going to be able to have enough fun with. But I'll tell you what, I will 100% agree with the folks who say that riding a slow bike fast is more fun than a fast bike slow. I can already tell this thing is going to be a hell of a time. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little buzzy on the D cell. I'm not mad about it, but uh, yeah, you're feeling that. I've got to actually work on my shifts with this bike since we don't have a quick shifter on the old 310. So that'll be a nice little bit of practice, as well as just having a bike that I can absolutely rip without fucking going too fast. Oh, I got my hazards on. Ooh, man's blowing grass on the wet road. Come on now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fun. <laughs> nice and satisfying doing all the shifting yourself. Good looking out Home Depot. <laughs> I might have more fun on this bike than I had on the uh, F800 and the F900. So I can just do that. <laughs> and I'm only going 40. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. And uh, actually riding it is just as comfortable as just sitting on it. Obviously, this ride is only going to be like 20 minutes or so, but I would imagine even riding this thing for a significant period of time, it would be plenty comfortable. Even at uh, 6'2", 280. This is quite enjoyable. I am very comfortable. I'm nice and upright, not lean forward like you would be on a lot of sport bikes. It's a very nice, very nice naked riding position. Okay, we're not turning. I thought we were turning because we we're slowing down, but we just got copper sitting up here. Ooh, I just got hit in my neck by a bug. We don't like that. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Thanks for keeping us safe, keeping us honest out here. They have absolutely been out making sure that we aren't getting too crazy this weekend. Seems like the wind has calmed down a bit since my ride earlier, too, so that's nice. I'm sure this, uh... I'm sure this bike wouldn't handle the wind quite as well as the F800 and the F8, F900. It's got a nice little sound out of it. I think sounds pissed off. I like it. <laughs> I like this. I am a fan. <laughs> I, I honestly, I've gone from being someone who assumes that cruisers are going to be really 
the main bikes for me to thinking that, you know, those are probably the last thing I want to ride. getting our shifts down real nice this, this bike is easy to ride man appreciate y'all pointing them things out but i'm gonna hit them bumps for the people let them know what they feeling like oh yeah we going right over that and that's i mean this this thing feels soft going over bumps man not bad i don't think my uh turn signals are self-canceling on this bike if so it doesn't work as well as the higher end bikes that i've been on but man, nah, yeah, I, I don't think I even want a cruiser. This thing is a blast. Oh yeah, we got some good wind coming now. A few little rain droplets on the visor, but that's all right. <laughs> this thing is a blast, man. Oh yeah, it feels good shifting the bike myself too. I'm not even gonna lie, them quick shifters are sick. And I do think that every bike should have one, but man, this is, this is where it's at. Yeah, this is an excellent, excellent beginner bike out of BMW. And this thing is only 5,000 bucks MSRP, man. Just under 5,000 for the base and just over for uh, the next trim level. And I mean, easily worth it. Easily. This thing is awesome, man. Even as a bigger dude like myself, this bitch is comfy. Yeah, I, I might, I'm, I'm gonna have to rethink the, <laughs> the kind of bikes that I'm into, man, because maybe cruisers aren't for me. This shit is fun, man. Look at that M1000R, god damn. One thing you won't ever catch me on is something like that. That's that's too much for me. Oh, not to stall. It's brother stalling out. Oh yeah, this is a good time, man. <laughs> up in six gear just do a little cruising this thing has no problem going over these bumps this shit is comfortable man this is a very comfortable bike yeah this is this is the position for me i like this a lot yeah give me all those bumps i want to feel them i want to know what they feeling like so i can let the people know at home that even with a 280 pound man on this bike on this little 310 bumps ain't no thing Ain't no thing, Saudi. Yeah, this honestly, this might be uh, my favorite bike that I've ridden out of the three, man. This thing is fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. That thing is sexy, though, man. I don't think I'll ever buy a bike that fast, but man, that's cool. Oh, my visor fogging up, Saudi. It's warm in this bitch. No more stalling, Bob. Oh yeah, you can just lightly pull that clutch with one finger. This thing makes pretty much all of its power right at the top, right before redline. It, I think it's 9250 RPM out of the 10,000 redline. So you gotta get it revved up pretty good, but I mean, it's fun, man. And you get it revved up all the way in third gear, you're only really hitting like maybe 60 miles per hour. That's the that's that shit I like. A lot of people out there who will just write off the slow shit because they can only have fun, or they think they can only have fun in a straight line. But I mean, even even in a straight line on this little thing, man, it's good look. It's a good time. Oh, I didn't blip the throttle right there very well. Wasn't prepared for all that engine braking. You're nice and easy to put down in a neutral from second gear. We love that. I want this dude to rev this M1000. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my goodness. I really... Man, I don't know. 
was not considering something this small at all for a first bike, man, but for 5,000 bucks, I don't know if you could have much more fun than this. I really don't. And it's perfect for the type of roads that we have here in Northeast Ohio, man. You really can't really uh, use the power on a fast bike or even in a fast car for that matter on the twisty roads. This thing right here, man, I can't wait till we get to the twisty part. Yeah, I keep forgetting to turn my turn signal off because I don't think they're self-canceling on this bike. Probably been looking funny AF. Oh yeah, I, I might need it, man. I might need it. <laughs> there, you give this thing a little, a little tune. Well, intake, exhaust, and a tune be vibing. It's a little ripper, man. It's only got, I think, 34 horsepower. <laughs> but I mean, it is definitely enough to have fun with. And of course, it's a BMW, so it's engineered beautifully, of course. <laughs> right leader is on this dude's ass. Dude's up there slow poking. Yeah, this is this is this is where it's at, man. I'm probably gonna need me a naked bike. If I ride an MT-07 and it is as comfortable as this, yeah, I'm in there. I like the way it sounds too, man. That shit sounds mad. It really does. It's a little pissed off, little 300. Oh, had a little baby bug on the visor. You know what I'm saying? If you're riding with bigger bikes like I am right now, it might take you a little second to get caught up to your to your people. But uh, I mean, if they're not butt heads and they're not just leaving you in the dust, you'll catch up just fine. I mean, it seems like it'll do just fine at highway speeds. Probably, you know, it's not heavy bike by any means so lady over there is waving to the riders love to see that love to see people happy to see motorcycle riders and stuff like that man instead of just being pissed off at people who are doing something that they enjoy that's not where it's at man that's not the way to live life Woo! put him in the neutral Brakes are nice. I felt that bump a little more, but it wasn't bad. We're getting into the fun part now, baby. Yeah, man. This kind of stuff right here is what this bike was made for. sloppy on my shifts there but that's all right been spoiled with quick shifters on the last two bikes i rode so yeah, i'm being like if you're riding at highway speed you're gonna have to downshift to get any passing power but she'll do freeway speeds for sure it's definitely a little buzzy through certain rpms but i'm not mad about it i don't mind feeling what the bike is saying Oh, my visor's foggy. We don't like that. So really, I mean, you can rev it past 10,000. I just had it at damn near 11. <laughs> but red line is 10,000. Shout out Anita for giving us a... Uh, opportunities to rev these bikes out a little bit not so much with the bigger ones but this one right here man you can rev it out all day and you're not even going fast that's money dude <laughs> yeah without a doubt i'm having even more fun on this than i did on the, <laughs> on the uh, i think 85 horsepower and hundred something horsepower uh f800 and f900 
So you're probably gonna hear me say this a lot, man, but big dudes, don't be afraid to ride a small bike and see what you see what you think. Neutral. Where's the neutral? I cannot find the neutral, my friend. There it is. Yeah, man, I like this. It's nice and simple. Ain't a whole bunch of buttons, not a whole bunch of modes or nothing. It's nice and easy. Neutral. Where's neutral? There it is. G310R, man. That's a fun little beginner bike. If you were a beginner and you're interested in a bike around 5,000 bucks, man, I imagine it don't get much better than that. That was fun. That might be the most fun I've had this weekend. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, you can really just get on it.